right detail. Oh, my tummy is rumbling. I want to eat. Oh, there's some noise downstairs. Brother. Tom is coming to the rescue. Mm -hmm. Oh, which berries are suitable for this drink? What, what the noise? Granny. My drink can wait. The salad is almost ready. What kind of sounds are these? Chef. Need to check it out. What's up, kid? Are you crying? I'm hungry, and you will feed me. I want nuggets. Easy as pie. Okay. Okay. Grandma, wake up. Look, it's time to cook nuggets. Nuggets for my dear granddaughter? I'll do it. Hurry up! Of course, of course. First, you need to pour oil into the pan. Will you give me some oil, Grandma? Okay. Opening the lid and let's pour it. Why so little? We need more oil. Oh, oh, not that much. Apparently, I overdid it. This is bad. Watch and learn. You need to cut the chicken into small pieces. Let's go. And to prepare the batter, you will need one chicken egg. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We break it into a bowl and pour breadcrumbs into another bowl. <laughs> Great! Now we need to dip the chicken first in one bowl and then in the second one. Perfect! I would say incredible! Now let's fry it. Yeah, Grandma, it's far from ideal. Whoa. Look, that's what perfect pieces are. But that's not all. Gold. All my dishes are worth their weight in gold. And these nuggets will be literally golden. <laughs> Kate has definitely never tasted such a gorgeous dish. Wow. Uh, uh, that's stupid. So much fuzz with the nuggets. I know you can make pre-made product. Great. But I know how to make them even better. We need to put nuggets on a skewer. Super. And now, melt the cheese. Perfect. How did Grandma make the batter? You need an egg? Yep. Okay. And instead of boring crackers, I'll take delicious Cheetos. We need to chop it properly. <laughs> so... In my opinion, it turned out great. Now I'll just dip the nuggets into a bowl and you can fry it. Nice. Perfect. Let's put it in the pan and fry it. Perfect. Awesome. We put it on a plate and you can serve it. Well, everything is so nice. I want to try the orange ones. Oh, I feel Cheetos. Okay, and what is this? Is it actual gold? <laughs> Ugh, that's disgusting. But these nuggets look more appetizing. Mm, yummy. But yours win, little brother. Wow, you see it? I'm the chef here. Now I want a burger. It couldn't be more simple. Anything for my beauty. Okay. Hmm. Easy. What? Oh, oh. Uh, we have to cook from this. In the form of a patty, my meat is much prettier. No, Kate. You're not going to eat that. But Nutella will do. Off with the lid and now spread on a bun. Yes. And some more. The only thing missing are. Marshmallows! The world's sweetest burger is almost ready. Well, and now we'll cook for sure. There's nothing better than the classics. Agree with you, Grandma, but my buns will be crispier than yours. Don't make me laugh, darling. Buns are easy, but not everyone can cook a delicious patty. My patties are loved by the whole family. Don't forget about the cheese. Oh, Tom, what are you doing? This is a fiery kitchen, Grandma! A new trend in culinary art! Look, my burger is almost ready! More marmalades! By the way, they look like bacon, right? 
Oh, oh, I don't know, dear. Well, the next masterpiece is almost ready. All right, all right, My idea right. is a multi-story burger. Okay. And besides the patties, there will be bacon in it. The crust is perfect. Mm -hmm. Great. Yes. Okay. And of course, the onion will complement the range of taste. Now a couple of drops of Italian sauce. Well, a masterpiece. Just a masterpiece. A masterpiece? Are you talking about my burger? Then you're right. For the perfect taste, you need more sauces. A bun on top and... Done. Oh! By your kitchen again? You see, Grandma, you're in the trend now. I decided to pour caramel on my burger. Great, huh? Tom, you're going to burn down the whole kitchen. Mm. Kate, bon appetit. Wow! Yes. This burger is so awesome. tall. And so delicious. What about this one? Um, there's not enough sophistication. Mm. Well, well, what do we have oh. here? A sweet burger! Nice. Yeah! One, two, three! The chef wins! Hooray! Be envious! <laughs> Dessert time! I want cookies! It's simple. <laughs> okay. This is my ah. signature dish. Well, I want it too! I'll cook and take half for myself! Careful, darling! You'll punch a hole in the table like that! Look! That's how it should be. With smooth movements, you roll out the dough and cut out the circles. These are future cookies. Circles? <laughs> no, it's too boring. I'm going to have a house. Let's go. And now it's time for them to go to the oven. And mine too. Okay, okay, we'll see who wins this round. Round then? That's possible. But cookies without feeling? That's what's boring. Mm. I'm sure Kate will be delighted with Skittles. Hmm, it's pretty cool. All right, all right, all right. Mm, what a smell. <laughs> You're already done? <gasps> oh, I'm not going to bake my cookies. Wonder if it's okay in the microwave. Uh -huh. It's time to decorate my gingerbread house. White whipped cream, as if the house was dusted with snow. Mm -hmm. And a marshmallow fence. Yeah. Only powdered sugar is missing. Nice. How great it's turning out. Perfect. What's that smell? It really stings. Oh no! I think my cookies! Oh! No, it's completely ruined. What kind of coal is this? Tom, what? have you decided to no. poison me? Yes. This cookie looks safer. And how does it taste? Great, I like it. I'll try this cookie. Mm. Well, not bad, Grandma. The winner is obvious. <gasps> and again, the best. <laughs> and now we're cooking fried eggs. Well, I can do okay. that. Easy, dear. Easy. Yes. Even I can handle with eggs. Oh, uh, Grandma, I need oil again. Oh, damn, it's not pouring again. Oh, come on. I've already seen something similar today. Duh. Honey, can you handle an egg? Look, you take it and carefully break it. Oh, it looks simple. I take it and break it. Worked. Did you leave the shell for the taste? Yeah, but who am I competing with? I'm a chef of the highest rank. Yes. So a simple fried egg is okay. not my level. I'll cook something more delicious. <laughs> Besides the orange peel, I came up with something. Yes. Need a peach. <laughs> well, one is enough. Perfect. It's like a yolk. A peach? Huh? Wow. Oh, fire! We're on fire, Grandma! Uh, what have my eggs turned into? It was the chef's peach that distracted me. Hey. Don't worry, dear. Uh -huh. It's time to serve the dishes. 
and it's time to try them! I'll start with these ones. Awesome! The yolk is liquidy just like I love it. Okay. Um, what is this? Tom, you actually wanted to poison me! I didn't do it on purpose. And here's something interesting. Mmm, a peach! Well, the shape made the coolest eggs! Oh, not fair. <laughs> I suggest starting with a simple one. Prepare delicious pasta for me. Easy, it'll be done. I can cook pasta, but I can't. But never mind, I'll think of something. It seems to be done quite simply. All you need to do is pull the spaghetti in boiling water. Only they're too long for this pot. We need to shove them deeper. The easiest way to do this, of course, is with your hands. Ah! How hot! My poor hands! Who does that? You just need to spread the spaghetti around the perimeter of the pen. They will cook and gradually fall into the water themselves. It's very simple. Awesome. Spaghetti! Oh, what on. kind of store-bought stuff is this anyway? Oh no! The best spaghetti what? is spaghetti made with your own hands. In my restaurant, I serve only such pasta. Yeah! In fact, there is nothing complicated about it. The main thing is to love your job. Treat cooking spaghetti with a soul. So I'm going to do everything from the beginning to the end on my own. Let's make some dough. And then cook some spaghetti from it. Okay. And to make it an unusual black color, I'll add a little food coloring. The dough is ready. Now we need to be properly made. Like that. Let's time it. Oh, it's too okay. long. What? In fact, no. everything can be done much easier. What? Is that all? See? It's not long at all. But from such a deal, we'll have unrealistically delicious spaghetti. So, awesome. you need to roll out the dough thoroughly. Let's do it. And then, cut it into thin strips with a special knife. See? Now you can throw it in a saucepan. Ta-da! Okay. A couple of minutes and the best spaghetti in your life is ready. It's time to fry the octopuses. They will add sophistication to the pasta. It looks very expensive. Granny, what are you doing? Ketchup is disgusting. I like it. Oh no! What's going on here? Tom, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the noodles out of the pot! And it doesn't want to fall into the plate in any way! Don't worry, you just overdid the spaghetti a little. Okay. And what do I do now? Right! I'm done with spaghetti! There's a way to make pasta much faster and tastier! To do this, you need a box of Korean Pororo noodles. It's not just delicious, but also so bright! Oh, what a mess. Oh, man. You're just jealous of me. But Kay will definitely awesome. choose my pasta. Woo! Come on! Well, well. I think I'll start with these black spaghetti. I've never seen anything like this before. Let's see. Oh, how disgusting! Who eats this at all? The portion from the center looks much more ordinary. Spaghetti with ketchup, of course, I love, but… Um, it's too easy. Although it's pretty delicious. Okay. And now it's time for Pororo noodles! Let's see what it tastes like. The main thing is so bright! Wait, why is it so spicy? What a horror! <laughs> but it was so cool! I love spicy! So, Tom, congratulations on your victory! This time, make me delicious cacao! What, what are you waiting for? Hey. It's time to start! It will be done. Cool. I think I can handle it. Everything will be okay. perfect! Of course, you need to start with milk. It needs to be poured into a saucepan so that it gradually warms up. 
You need to pour cacao into it next and stir it all slowly. I'll resort to the secret ingredient and add some chocolate to the cacao. Then it will become much more delicious. That is my secret. Well, is it time to pour a drink into a mug? It is best to do this with a ladle. That way you definitely won't spill anything past the mug. Mm, how lovely. Also, it smells incredibly delicious. Yeah, it stinks all over the room. Grandma, your recipe is certainly not the worst, but why did you stop so early? What about the cream? Cream, by the way, will be much tastier if you whip it yourself. Let's do it. So, I pour it into a bowl. And I'm gonna mix it. Perfect. Let's move on. Come on! I'll decorate your cow with the resulting cream. But that's not all. It will look even more appetizing okay. if I put some marshmallows on top of the cream. Let's do it. Oh, it's perfect now. Why suffer so much? You can just use whipped cream. But I also like the idea of marshmallows. So I'll decorate cacao with marshmallows. But this is not the end. Why not add Oreo cookies? They're so nice. Okay. And they look perfect there. Or, for example, M&M candies. Or even better, add everything. And of course, do not forget about the chocolate syrup. That's what I like. Kay will definitely be thrilled. Let's see. Tom, your cacao looks really cool. I think I'll start with it. It's just unrealistically delicious. I hope the next candidates will be not worse. Next, I'll try cacao from my beloved grandmother. Grandma, I'm sorry, but Tom turned out better. The last candidate left. Mm, I really like this cacao too, but which one should I choose? I think I like Tom's version a lot. Now, I want you to make me chips. I hope you can do it. Chips? It'll be done. We'll see who's the winner. How are chips made in general? I'm just used to eating them, not cooking them. Tom, you need to peel the potatoes first. This is done very simply with the help of a special device. Now, each potato needs to be cut into thin slices so that it looks like real chips. Look how perfect they are. I'll do the rest of the potatoes now. And now you can fry them. The main okay. thing is not to spare the oil. Then the chips will turn out more crispy. I got everything! Now I'll make my better chips! She has never tried anything like this before! It turns out that potatoes can be peeled with an ordinary knife! Oh, cool! Tom, what are you doing? Stop littering! Uh, I think I went a little overboard. But I cleaned out everything! Well, now my favorite part. Potatoes need to be cut into thin slices. I also remember it's important not to spare the oil. In my opinion, there's quite a lot of it in my frying pan. It's time to dump the potatoes there. Tom, there's even too much oil. Therefore, it splashes in different directions. Yeah, you don't know how to cook chips. But I'll make real nachos for Kate. To do this, take a corn tortilla and cut it into identical triangles. <laughs> then you need to pour a little oil into a frying pan and spread these triangles on it. They will fry and turn into real nachos. Perfect. You can pull them out. They turn out just yeah. amazing. 
Now the nachos need to be spread out beautifully on a plate. As a sauce, we can use some cheese. So nachos will be even better. And it'll also be cool to add a little lime. Let's cut it. I've got it! How nice and beautiful it turned out! Perfect. I hope Kate likes it. Wait, where did the smell of burn coming from? Tom, what have you done? Oh, I just took my mind off chips for a second. Oh, now I have to give Kate this overcooked ambers. Oh, don't be upset. Maybe okay. she'll like it. I know what can help me. If you sprinkle some cheese seasoning on the chips, Kate won't even know that I overcooked them a little. Perfect. Hmm, I did it. I don't know about that. Come on! Well, well, everything looks very cool. Tom, according to tradition, I'll start with your dish. Ugh, disgusting! It's like I'm eating charcoal with cheese powder! Horrible! I wonder what the chef has prepared. To be honest, I've never tried real nachos before. Um, apparently I'm not a fan. I don't really like them. Grandma, there's only one version left to try. Mmm, how delicious! Grandma, I'm loving it. You win this round. Perfect! Subscribe to Haha Nope so as not to miss the same delicious, funny, and even useful challenges. See you soon, guys.